Look, look, look there, folks. Thomas Brady has did it again. He has appeared in his 10th Super Bowl. He has six rings. And now he will be facing the Kansas City Chiefs on Super Bowl Day. And we're going to get down to Thomas Brady, man. And when you look at Thomas Brady, this guy has the mark of the beast written all over his name. This dude was drafted in the sixth round, the 166 pick. When you think about that, it equals 666. And this dude is high. It's one of the top ranked high elite bloodline, bro. And he just keep winning and winning and winning. And this whole football thing, man, I watched that game with him playing the Green Bay Packers. And I just come to a final conclusion when I looked at the whole game. That the refs was having Tom Brady, man. And Tom Brady himself was trying to high five the refs in front of the whole public. Thought it was a big old joke. Because they actually favor Tom Brady to win and go to the Super Bowl. And another thing, why do you think Tom Brady is playing this Super Bowl? In Tampa Bay. The same team that he's on. That's where the Super Bowl is hosting. Ain't that a coincidence? So this guy got home field advantage. And we already know about the Drew Brees game. How Drew Brees automatically. Magically throwed all them interceptions. Like Drew Brees is just threw it to him. Like it wasn't even. You can't even make this up. Like he's a bad actor. He threw it to Tom Brady them team. Then walked off the floor, off the football field, stared back like he really cared. And kept trucking. And after the game, him and Tom Brady were chopping it up, man. I'm telling you, bro. Tom Brady, this whole thing has been favored for him to get to the Super Bowl, man. And I don't really know who's gonna win. You feel me? I don't know how this story going to end up for Tom Brady. Because he got six rings already. Maybe they trying to favor him for another ring for he can, for they can get him out of here, you know? And this is the thing about rig sports. People bet on these games, bro. Lose a lot of money when it's already predetermined that they already know who's going to win. And y'all will hear this notion about Tom Brady with all these refs around him, bro. That stuff is real. Tom Brady always had help getting all these rings, bro. Like, magically, things just happen out of nowhere. Just like they played the Seahawks that last time. And the Seahawks could have ran it in with Marshawn Lynch. But they throw the interception at the one-yard line. Think about that. It's obvious, bro. It's right in plain sight, man. These people cannot act. These players are bad actors now. This stuff is like a sub opera. opera. It's like a TV show, man. Reprogramming your head, thinking you think all this stuff is real. The numbers are all on table, man. It's all in front right there. And Tom Brady, man, this dude sitting back laughing, man. He laughing at it because... You know, he part of the elite bloodline, man. This is a high-ranked dude. He was born into this family. You can't make this type of success in, in any sports unless you was a high royal bloodline, son. You has to have a high royal bloodline for that. For real. And coming this Sunday, y'all gonna see a game. And I don't really know who's going to win. I'm kind of leaning towards Tom Brady. Thomas boy. Thomas Brady. They got the Super Bowl playing in his home. The, team, the same team he playing for right now. Really? I'll imagine these guys that have no home field advantage in the playoffs. 
but now they going to the Super Bowl with home field advantage. Really? That's why I don't really get involved in sports. I don't bet on these things. I just talk about it and look at it and laugh and smile because I see the effery happening right in front of my eyeballs, man. The refs wasn't calling no calls, man. The Bucks was practically hugging the rival receivers as they were trying to get down the field. They was hugging them up like bear hugging these dudes, man. All this was favorite for Thomas Brady, man. The sixth round pick, 166 pick. The normal stamped on him, man. They stamped on him like a poster stamp, man. Then you always hear people calling about the GOAT, the GOAT. Then you hear Stephen A. Smith. He be on first take just eating this guy up like a piece of pie, man. I mean, him and LeBron are the same two characters that they promote on these ESPN news websites and stuff and YouTube pages. LeBron and Thomas Brady, the GOAT, the GOAT, that's all you hear, the GOAT. Why y'all think they call these guys the GOAT? Because they serve pop belly GOAT Lucy. That is it. They worship the GOAT. And that's why they're on top. And don't get me wrong, man. See how high Thomas Brady is? It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me that this guy don't live long when he was hard. Because, you know, like Kobe Bryant, man, they had to give up a lot. And what they say, somebody else come in past the torch like Patrick Mahomes coming in. So Patrick Mahomes is the new GOAT in face of the NFL. So, when Patrick passed all the Tom Brady records, then Tom Brady probably got to check up up out of here, man. He going to check out, man. For real. He going to check out like he checked out of school. Go to sleep forever. Real talk, man. Just like when LeBron passed to surprisingly go Kobe Bryant records. Kobe Bryant had to check out. Then Kobe said, I'm passing the torch to you. And that's how Thomas Brady gonna check out when Pat Mahomes passed his records up. That's why you see these guys, you got the new GOAT against the old GOAT in the NFL Super Bowl. Think about it. The old GOAT against the new GOAT. The old GOAT is on their way out of here. The new GOAT gonna be taking over the NFL. And this is what this is all about. And what y'all think about this uh, NFL, man, Super Bowl, and how Tom Brady got to the finals, man, to the Super Bowl this fast, bro? Let me know in the comment box. This is the Messy Robot. I'm out.